Kaibigan, huwag ka na munang lumabas ng inyong bahay. Maliban na lang kung bibili ng pagkain o may emergency. Tandaan ang mga sumusunod. Kung kailangang lumabas ng bahay ngayong may enhanced community quarantine, magsuot ng mask. Siguruhin may isang metro ang layo sa ibang tao. Magdala lagi ng alcohol o alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Huwag hawakan ang iyong mukha. Bago naman pumasok ng bahay, maghugas ng kamay gamit ang tubig at sabon sa loob ng 20 segundo o kaya mag-alkohol o sanitizer. Isprayan ng disinfectant ang mga sapatos at iwan ang mga gamit sa may pintuan. Maligo at ilagay ang pinaghubaran sa hiwalay na laundry bag at labahan agad. Ilagay sa hiwalay na tapunan ang mga gamit na gloves at face masks sa loob ng tatlong araw bago itapon at ipakolekta. Sa wastong pag-iingat, ang virus hindi kakalat. COVID-19, kayang-kaya nating tapusin. Hello! My name is Teacher April. And I am Teacher Olga, your presenters for the Happy Sabella Teledivision Business Mathematics Grade 11 TV Lesson. It's learning time! This TV lesson is anchored on the Capsulized Self-Enhancement Learning Tool, also known as your Capsulet. We hope that you have been able to receive your copies from your teacher, which will serve as your reference on today's episode. So, are your minds all set? Then, let's go! At this point, we want you to make yourself comfortable and prepare your business mathematics grade 11 Capsulet Quarter 1, Week 1, Lesson 1. For this particular lesson, this will be on fractions, decimals, and percent forms. It is expected that you will be able to convert fractions to decimal and percent forms. But before we we'll get to the serious part of our lesson, we have with us Teacher JB from Tandong Amas National High School. Students, let's watch and listen as Teacher JB well, tell us more about converting fractions, decimal, and percent. Hi, I'm Teacher Javelin of Tandung Ahas National High School. I hope you learned something from me today. Ay, posibleng magkaroon 
nang walang nararamdaman at makahawa sa iba. Sa mga kasama ko, sa mga kausap ko, sa mga malalapitan ko, sa pamilya ko. Kaya upang mailigtas ang sarili ko at ang mga nakapaligid sa akin, aking tutuparin ang tamang paggamit at pagtanggal ng PPE. Ang tamang pagsuot, pagtanggal at pagtapon ng mas. Ang tama at madalas na paglinis ng kamay. Ang tamang pagkubo at pagbahing. Ang tamang distansya sa iba sa lahat ng pagkakataon. Ako ay isang frontliner. Ipinagmamalaki kong sundalo ako sa laban na ito. Ang panalo ng bayan ko ay nakasalalay sa pagsunod ko sa protocols. Maramat sa ideya upang matalo ang kalaban. Ang mga ito ay isa sa puso ko at buong tapang buong isa sa katuparan. Bilang sundalo, ito ang misyon ko. Iligtas ang mamamayan laban sa pagtapos sa kanyang ng virus. Ang kapatang nagkaroon at agad na bigyan ng medikal na atensyon upang hindi lumala at agarang tumalik. Iyakin na masukpo ang pagkalat ng virus at pigilan ang paghawa nito sa marami. Ako ay isang frontliner. Ipapanalo ko ang laban na ito. Kasihanawa ako ng mahabaging may likha. Good day, senior high students! Before we start converting fractions to decimal and percent forms, we need to know the two ways on how to convert fractions to decimals. Do you have any idea regarding this? Point well taken. The following are the two ways in converting fractions to decimals. First is to convert the fraction to an equivalent fraction whose denominator is a power of 10. Then write down just the top number, putting the decimal point in the correct spot. That is one space from the right hand side for every zero in the denominator. And the second way is to perform the usual long division wherein the numerator is the dividend and the denominator is the divisor. Here are the following examples using the first way. We have example number one, one half. Using the first way, we simply multiply both numerator and denominator by 5 to make a power of 10. Write down 5 with decimal point 1 space from the right because 10 has 1 zero. Example number 2, we have 7 over 50. Multiply both the numerator and denominator by 2 to make a power of 10. Write down 14 with decimal point 2 space from the right because 100 has 2 zeros. I hope you were able to follow the explanation of conversion using the first way or method. Here is another way of process of conversion using the second way or method. The following are examples using the second way. Example number one, using long division, divide the numerator with the denominator. Example number two, using the long division, divide the numerator with the denominator. Example number 3, again, using the long division, divide the numerator with the denominator. Those are the manners on converting fractions to decimals using two ways or methods. Since you fully understood the explanation of the first part of the lesson, at this point, we shall move to the conversion of fractions to percent form. Do you have any idea how to compute that? Hmm, I assume that some of you have the idea how, but then, let's still continue. Fractions to percent forms First, you have to convert the fraction to decimal. Then, convert the decimal to percent. To convert the decimal to percent, simply multiply the decimal by 100%. This is equivalent to moving the decimal point two places to the right and appending the percent sign. Here are some of those examples. Example number one, convert fraction to decimal. Multiply the decimal by 100%. 
Example number two, again, convert first to fraction to decimal. Then, multiply the decimal by 100%. Example number three, using long division, divide the numerator with the denominator. Then, multiply by 100%. Therefore, if you come across with numbers that need conversion, particularly on converting fractions to decimal and fractions to percent, this TV lesson is indeed of great help. I'm glad that you were keenly watching all those computations presented to you. Once again, this is Teacher Javelin. I hope you have learned something from today's lesson. See you next time! Goodbye, students! Formal ng nilagdaan ng lokal na pamahalaan ng Isabela City, Department of Education, Isabela City Division at Basilan Cable Home ang Tripartite Memorandum of Agreement na nagsasaad ng kasunduan patungkol sa pag-usad ng teledukasyon ng isang programang hatid ng lokal na pamahalaan ng Isabela City. Ang teledukasyon ay laan para sa mga mag-aaral ng lusot at isang pamamaraan sa pagpapatupad ng alternative learning module ng DepEd na siyang magsisilbing gabay ng mga mag-aaral sa mga pagsa sa eskwelahan habang nasa bahay. Pinamunuan ni Isabella City Mayor City Jalia Turabin Hadaman, kawani ng Department of Education, Isabella City Division, sa pangunin ni OIC at Assistant Schools Division Superintendent Julieto H. Fernandez, at President CEO ng Basilan Cable Home, CATV Network Inc., Diana Jean Yustakyo Puno, ang paglagda sa naturang kasunduan na ginanap sa City Hall ng Isabella City. Isa sa mga napagkasundo ang pamamaraan ng pagtuturo ngayong taon, ang mga talakayan gamit ang multimedia platforms tulad na lamang ng telebisyon. Nagahanap tayo ng ibang mga platform kung paano natin sila matulungan at isa nga ito, gusto natin na um, dito sa pamamagitan ng tatlong channels na to ay makapagpalabas tayo ng mga lectures based on sa modules. Um, for four days in a week, 12 grades, two subjects per day at one hour per subject. We have a lot of learning continuity plan but we came up with this um, itong sa TV. And hopefully, with the help of the local government, I achieve natin ang gusto natin para sa mga bata. We are happy that this is for the good of our uh, young children. Maliban sa modules na inaasahang ipamimigay sa mga mag-aaral kapalit ng nakagawi ang leksyon sa loob ng silid-aralan, nakasaad sa kasunduang nabanggit ang magpapalaganap ng mga educational materials na mapapanood sa tatlong cable channels na ayon sa grade levels. Regular itong mapapanood ng mga cable subscribers at ito ang magsisabing platform ng mga guro sa paghatid ng mga leksyon sa mga paksa tulad ng science, math, English, Filipino at iba pa. We're glad, Teacher JV, that you were with us, guiding our senior high school students regarding this TV lesson on conversion. We are indeed thankful for sharing your expertise to all of us, making the lesson easy yet fun. You have just learned about how to convert fractions to decimal and percent forms. If you have any questions, Feel free to write them down and send them to your business math teacher through text or call and I'm sure that your teacher will be very glad to answer them. Now it's time for some reminders. After watching this TV lesson, review the know and remember portion of your capset. I know you can do it by yourself, but if not, you can also ask some assistance from your parents or anyone who is knowledgeable enough to help you out. The Remember part includes the significant outputs for your better understanding of the lesson that was presented a while ago. If you're done, prepare your own answer sheet and answer the five item exercise written on your capsule. I know that you can answer these questions. Just read the directions carefully, comprehend, and answer each question. Alright? See that? Lesson becomes easy because I'm definitely sure you are watching in the team. Again, this is Teacher April. And I am Teacher Olga saying, Math is fun. Let's learn math in a fun and great way. Here at Happy Isabella Teleducation.